Hey guys, what is up? Maya here, and today we are going to be playing some Project Zomboid. So, last time I left off, actually a few days ago, I did want to kind of get back into the habit of doing this daily, but, uh, you know, things have kind of just been really hectic, really busy lately. Um, you know, like I said, I've been in the exam block, huge amounts of stress, and yesterday, when I was going to record a video, my computer, I kid you not, caught on fire, and I actually have video of it that I plan to upload uh, you know, as soon as I download the right codecs for it, because, you know, for some reason Apple have to be douchebags and have their own fucking .move files, which is a pain in the ass when you're trying to edit and, you know, you don't have that. Yeah, you know, I'm going to be, you know, uploading a video of my computer kind of pouring smoke out of the power supply. So what basically happened with that was, and it's actually a little bit late today already, um, because, oh yeah, actually, I did already try making another episode, and... You know, I, I think I got about a day in and then everything kind of just died and crapped out again. So, you know, I had to stop it there and I just never bothered uploading it. But, you know, we're going to be starting again. But, yeah, my um, fan and my power supply broke. And, I mean, it had been broken for ages and ages and ages. And because it's winter over here and it's cold as hell, it hasn't been too bad. You know, my computer hasn't been overheating too much or anything like that. So it's been okay. And, you know, yesterday I finally moved back into a... Uh, you know, my home, because I was, like, house-sitting for a few weeks, uh, you know, I got in, and, you know, it must just be the environment out here or something, it must be just, like, a few degrees colder or a few degrees warmer, and, yeah, um, about 3 a.m. in the morning, I'm sleeping, all of a sudden I hear my fans making really, really funny noises, like, my, my computer's struggling to deal with the heat, um, my computer turns off, turns on a few times, you know, I'm laying in bed thinking, what the hell is going on here? And all of a sudden there's this really weird burning smell, and I didn't think much of it, you know, my computer eventually just stopped trying to turn itself on, so I'm like, you know, whatever, I'm going to go back to sleep, it's 3am. So anyway, the next day, I wake up, turn my computer on, I go have a shower, I come back, and it's turned off again. So I go to touch, just put my hand on the back of the power supply just to see how hot it is. And don't ask me what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just actually kind of walking around while I tell this, just because we don't have much time left in the day. Yeah, anyway, I put my hand behind it just to see how hot it is, and I noticed there's all of this smoke coming out, and I mean, there's just, it's just heaps of it, it's just like sizzling above my computer. So, yeah, instead of being able to record and study all day like I had planned, I had to drive all the way down to Brisbane and back to buy a new power supply, which cost me, it ended up costing me about 300 bucks at the end, and that sounds like a lot for a power supply, but it's actually two power supplies. The night before it broke, I kind of had, uh, you know, just 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 this feeling that it was going to die soon. You know, I'd, I'd kind of left it for ages. You know, I'd given it so many chances, and it kept dying. I'm like, you know, what? I have to buy one. So the night before, I ended up buying a power supply, and you know, the next day it completely broke altogether, and I just wasn't able to use it at all. So you know, I ended up ringing up the company. They're like, oh, you know, we we don't have that power supply in stock. You're not going to be able to get it till Tuesday. That was on Saturday. So I had to buy another power supply that they had in stock which I'm going to be selling to my girlfriend who's also building a computer so you know I could have a power supply on that same day without you know having to spend all that money but yeah it sucked I drove like three four hours in that day and it was just it was miserable and the worst thing was as soon as I got home I plugged it in but uh, the power supply it kind of had uh, sticky sticky starter cables so it was kind of difficult to you know plug my hard drives in uh, so I didn't plug my hard drive in correctly the first time, and this message, um, this awful message came up saying, you know, um, disk boot failure, you know, please insert system disk. The only time I've ever seen that happen is when I used to work in a computer shop and actually dropped a hard drive of a customer one day by accident. It was sitting on top of another computer. Uh, my boss wanted me to, you know, put some RAM in it or something, so I, I laid it down on its, you know, on its back. The hard drive was on top of the case. I didn't see it smashed into the floor. And yeah, that was the last time I saw that error, so I was, I was a little bit concerned, but all is good now. Here we are, killing some zombies, you know, just scouting out the area. But yeah, our place is actually looking pretty good. And unfortunately, patch R still isn't out. They said they'd given it to the beta testers, and you know, things are looking good, but no luck. I ended up sending an email actually asking if I could join the testing team, you know, just because I pretty much play this game every day. And unfortunately they said, you know, they don't have enough slots, oh, you know, they've already filled all of the positions, so that sucked a bit. I was actually looking forward to, you know, trying to get in a little bit early and check it out, but no luck there. Anyway, that was, yeah, basically my last couple of days in a nutshell. But, you know, keep in mind, I'm, I'm doing my best to get these videos up, but, you know, sometimes it's hard, especially around exam block. I've been really, 
really stressed out actually about that lately. It's just one of my subjects. It's just such a fucking. It's just such a bitch. And you know, I left some of it way long. You know, way too late. And now I'm worried I'm not going to pass, but I probably will. And I'm kind of just going through that exam cycle where you go through you know periods of feeling optimistic and then just periods of being really pessimistic and depressed. So at the moment I'm kind of at the pessimistic stage. Uh, so we'll wait a few more hours before we go to sleep. And I mean this is kind of made worse by the fact that I actually injured myself sitting in an exam. And I mean that that sounds weird. How do you injure yourself sitting down writing? Well you know that's that's what I thought too. But oops that was just my phone. Um, yeah, while I was sitting and while I was writing, my arm started to hurt. So, you know, usually your hands will get sore while you're writing, things like that. I'm actually going to eat those eggs because one of them's already gone rotten, so we don't want all of them to break. Yeah, you know, my arm was kind of sore. Not, not near my wrist like it normally would when I'm writing, but just all the way up my arm. And since Thursday until today, whenever I'm not sleeping, as soon as I wake up, my shoulder just hurts and hurts and hurts. And I mean, I took so many painkillers and just nothing not even the slightest bit of you know pain was taken away i think 60 milligrams of codeine three grams of paracetamol because you know that's the best shit you can get over the counter here in australia and seriously that, that was that was six tablets did nothing not even the tiniest so i've been moody and grumpy and not wanting to study and depressed and every other fucking thing for the last few days but hello who do we have here patrick schnitzel I would actually like to... Is he gonna team up? Oh, he looks friendly. Okay, cool, so this guy looks friendly. Huh, so I've never actually teamed up with anyone before in this game, so this is gonna be all new to me. It's gonna be a learning experience for both of us. So, can we talk about other things? No, we can only talk once. Oh, this is cool. Now, I know I've always said that, you know, I don't... I, I wouldn't team up with somebody in an actual zombie apocalypse, but... You know, I figured it's, it's going to be a pretty big feature in the game, so we better not ignore it completely. So, we'll help this guy out too. Is that back here. Ah, uh, I don't know. Where's our other mate gone? Where the hell did he go? He was just there. I saw him following me out. That zombie's actually wearing the same clothes as him, but I really... Oh, there he goes. Patrick Sanchez. Right behind you. you. You're not right behind me, you're walking in the opposite direction. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's just ignore him. Now, anyway, uh, you know, back to more Project Zomboid related things instead of me, you know, bitching about my life and things like that. I actually had someone say, you know, it might be a good idea to actually build this fortress over to this area here and I mean I don't necessarily want this safe house but I want all of the trees around it because they actually look like they're going to be a little bit easier to cut down because the trees at the moment they're getting kind of really out of the way Jesus that was that was weird oh okay so there we go we've got a an unfriendly one. Yeah, I wasn't going to give him the chance. So let's see what he's got. Nothing too important. But I suppose I do still have all these trees here before I get it, but... Yeah, never mind. I, I, I might try to get over there at some point. Because I guess it would be kind of convenient to have that area and it would be extremely easy to wall off because you've just got these things here. Actually. Actually. Yes. 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 Okay. 
So here's what I'm going to do. There's a, there's a new mod out actually, Project Zomboid. I've done a video on it before, the farming mod for Project Zomboid. So there's that Patrick Sanchez guy here again. I'm just going to stay. Anyway. So yeah, I'm going to download this mod. It has been upload. Oh, it has been updated a few times. But this area around here would be great for farming. And I mean, the, um, you know, the guy who developed the mod, he's balanced it out a little bit now. Uh, you know, he's made it so it's not so easy to get instant food. But you know, this area here, this, this whole park actually would just be great because I could board these areas off really, really easily. The zombies can't get through those. So how many exits and entries? One, two, three, four, and... Oh, no, never mind. Four. And is there any others? Five. Okay, so this place has five entrances. Now what I could do is I could actually board every single one of those off with walls so they'd be indestructible. Then what I could do is build this bridge over to there, put the stairs down, so you know I've got a way to get in and out of both of these buildings. And then I could have this whole place and what the hell? Is he sleeping? He's dead. Wow. Wow, he's not going to turn into a zombie, is he? This is just solidifying, you know, my belief that it's just a bad idea to have survivors. Because look at that, you know, he could have turned into a zombie inside a house or something, you know, I might not have known. And, you know, that's that's one extra scratch, one extra bite that, you know, we could have to worry about. I would also like to point out that the scratch on my shin and the scratch on my left forearm uh, so far seem to be okay. They're still bandaged, but... I'm not paranoid at all, I'm not nauseous, I don't have any stages of, you know, zombification, you know, occurring. So I'm actually thinking we're going to be pretty safe there. Now I know we haven't done a lot in this episode, we've really just talked a bit. But, you know, that's kind of good. I kind of felt like we were at a little bit of a stale point where, you know, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do next. I didn't want to spend every episode just cutting down and, you know, building this place up. But, you know, now that we really have a goal in mind, you know, a goal to take the Sky Ridge somewhere and actually do something with it, you know, in terms of the farm, I, you know, I'm really looking forward to doing this now. So, yeah, I guess we can head home, go to sleep for the night. Uh, you know, when we come back, we're going to have to get back into cutting down trees and whatnot again. But, you know, as soon as we do, we've got five exits. Each exit's probably going to need, uh, you know, five to seven of these. So we're going to need about 20 to 35 planks. Uh, 20 to 35 actual walls so we're going to need a lot of wooden planks that's yeah that's that's definitely that's easily over 100 120 so we're going to probably one, two, three, four, five, six, just trying to work this out we need almost 200 wood I think to properly have this thing place set up and you know properly secured but yeah I'm actually this this is going to work out really really well for us the sooner we can get that place barricaded off the better because it is a huge portion of the map it's going to enable us to farm you know it's going to it's going to open up a whole heap of you know new opportunities for us and the, the best thing about that is that as soon as we have that set up there's so many trees in there that we can easily get to that uh you know it's completely boarded off from all the zombies too so you know once that's done what we could do is you know at this at this side of the park, you know, we've kind of got it so it leads this bridge over to this huge area here. Over the other side of the park, you know, we could just branch it off into a supermarket and things like that. So we've got all of these extra places, you know, that are kind of ours and that are safe. Because, you know, last time when the horde came, we had nowhere to go. And I mean, it was starting to look like I was going to have to jump out one of the two-story windows and try to make a run for it. So yeah, the more places we have to escape, the better I say. Okay, so with that, let's head upstairs, eat a couple of those apples that we ended up picking up, or five. Look at those, are really good for you. One of those, how much hunger? 30, yeah. Alright then, so with that, I will be ending the episode here. Thank you guys for your patience and understanding. And I should be back tomorrow with another episode, but... You know, no promises. I've got exam on Tuesday, and then my final exam is on Thursday. So after that, it's holidays, 
and it's just gonna it's gonna be good so I'll see you guys very soon for another episode